Hello, gamers. This is Sea of Stars, where, I don't know, it's it's a game that won a ton of awards back in 2023. I think it won a bunch of Game of the Year awards. It's a JRPG style, like uh, old school retro RPG with modern elements. I don't really know much about the game beyond that. I played for the first hour or so off stream. This would be like more than two months ago. So it's been a while since I personally touched it. I'm really excited to play it. I've been kind of gearing up for this stream for a while now, just getting ready to record this gameplay, and hopefully it's freaking awesome. It's going to be up on YouTube. I'm very, very excited. Um, and in this gameplay, I don't know what's going to happen. We're just going to find out and discover this whole thing together. But if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Uh, thumbs up if you like the video, thumbs down if you don't, but otherwise... Let's get playing. Hey gamers, one last thing. The game audio didn't record properly at the beginning of the stream. So if you want the audio, skip forward to 1550 or check down below in the description for a marker. All right, thanks. Uh, we're gonna go Valir because blue. Okay, so we have two main characters. Select the one who will lead the party. This can be changed later and does not affect the story. Awesome. Uh, Zale, a blade dancer born on the summer solstice, walks the path of the guardian god Solon. Or Valer, or Valir? I'm going to say Valir. We're going Valir. You don't get ads for some reason. I love that for you. That's fantastic. Uh, a monk born on the winter solstice, walks the path of the guardian goddess Luana. Boom. Yeah, monk. Love that. Love the whole monk aesthetic. Have tried to meditate my entire life with limited success we'll see how this goes all right the great archives god i love pixel art style it is just my jam welcome to the great archives adventurer i suppose curiosity brought you here an important trait to be sure i'm the archivist an immortal versed in the ways of alchemy <laughs> little little chair peek or perhaps you knew that already after spending millennia cataloging the many events of countless timelines, I decided to return here to mull over everything I had seen. In my musings about the stories that fill these books and scrolls, I had a recent epiphany. It seems that in my haste, I may have overlooked the very thing that I was hoping to find. As such, there is one special story I wish to revisit, one deserving of a witness. And should the mists of time allow a slight alteration, I believe the ray of hope that was once offered may yet bloom. So walk with me tonight and we will explore a tale of high adventure, of magic and deceit, of friendship and wonder, but mostly a tale of heroism. One that I believe will offer valuable insight in the search for a resolution to the throes of the Fleshmancer. That's a name. Why do I keep playing fleshy games? Freaking trend. Now I remain a bit lost amidst all these timelines and their subtle variations. But I know just the one to make for a perfect starting point. Let us see what we find in there. Ah, yes. A story begins in a world visited by the Fleshmancer generations prior, causing much turmoil and leaving a mark that has yet to be fully cleansed. Somewhere on Evermist Island, two brave children of the Solstice are on their way to meet with an immortal spirit. In order to become fully-fledged Solstice warriors, they will need to learn how to use magic without using magic. I am the Fleshmancer. I am the Fleshmancer. That's right, Chad. We've got a soundboard now. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna move this camera up. Oh, oh, the framing. The framing is tough. I'll just have to lean back. All right, we made it to the mountain trail. So far, so good. So the Elder Mist lives somewhere here, huh? Do you think it's just another test? Could be, but sure beats sitting at the academy. And sewing. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm sure glad that's over with. Apply yourselves, for the will you weave into it shall be your sole defense in the time of greatest need. Well, the lessons taught here may appear to be lost on you. Something deep inside is compelled to learn. Ah. Shut up, baby, I know it. <laughs> Narration voice, thanks. I was tabbed out texting and almost threw my phone with the soundboard sound. <laughs> yeah. Hey, the sun will be setting soon. We should prepare to set up camp. Let's split up and search for a good spot. Takes off immediately. Time for some scouting. Hey, ya uh, I'm coming through. Ooh, vulnerable. Ooh. Dude, what is this guy? He's got like a lantern. And a backpack. I mean, he looks just like a normal traveler. Was he just, did he just pop out to say hello? Too late now. <laughs> Rogavis wasn't kidding. These feel easier to fight already. Let's see where this leads. Uh, X, climb, jump. Ooh, classic JRPG style. I want to check behind every little thing. Hey. It's like a... It's the free earth goat. <laughs> we cool, dude? Earth goat. Doesn't have to be like this. Okay, so we've been attacking. Ouch, tough one, huh? Let's try this. Skills. Crescent arc. Smashes enemies in an arc and does blunt and moon effect. A rochev. I'm gonna make you into a rochev cheese. Ooh, look at that. Hey, Troll Hunter, thanks for the sub. And Nate, thanks for gifting the sub to Matold Matodolo. Motodolo. Hey, community of 10 gifted. Heck yeah, we just hit 10 subs. That's amazing. Thanks, you guys. Hell yeah. Valer, found anything? Sorry, but keep mispronouncing your name. We thought it was Valer earlier and I forgot. Just a dead end. How about you? Nothing of note, but the way to the top is definitely through here. The sun is setting. Come over. I'll get a fire going. I'll be right there. Can't wait for more tomato clubs. Is that a tomato club plant right there? Press X to unroll rope ladders. Oh, nope. That's where we went before. Don't want to go in a big circle now. Hey, thanks for the biddies, Nate. Killing it today. Stream supporter right there. Is it Thursday today? It's Thursday today. Okay, this is important to note, and I hope that Jazzo is not listening right now. Oh, this is cool. Look at this sliding mechanic. But Thursday in my household is not cute tickle Thursday. So at some point... Uh, there will be an ambush. Either me ambushing or being ambushed into a tickle fight until one of us gives up. So we best be on our guard today. Okay. Lunar magic projectile that can bounce to multiple targets. A moonerang. Press X to deflect. Oh, sick! Oh, I love little mini games. That was awesome! Wow, okay. If, if that's how this game is going to go with, like, rhythm games built into the fighting... Dude, that's like a Helldiver-style innovation right there. 
I love it. If you do attack Jazzo Pants, I should vlog it. Yeah. Yeah, I should. I should. Should be like, why are you setting up a, a tripod right now? I'd be like, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Ha! But it doesn't beat the face you made the first time you tried smashing a sunball. Oh, I can still hear the headmaster gloating. As I said, whether by paying attention in class or by recklessly attempting to hit a projectile with your open palm, you will learn the first rule of solar magic. To be fair, you did learn. Oh yeah, that one only took once. You ever miss those years? Before training, just being kids, always daydreaming and getting in trouble? And making mistakes. I'm sorry, Valir, I didn't mean... It's okay, I understand why he wouldn't want to join us after what happened. It's just... I wish he had said goodbye, you know? After 10 years of not seeing his face, just to know that he's all right. And that we're still friends. Why did we have why did we have to get away of get ahead of ourselves anyway? Oh girl. Oh girl. What up, girl? Uh, ten years ago in the village of Moon Cradle. My weapon will be something that hits really hard. And I'll pick a fast one. We'll be unstoppable. Imagine all the wonders we'll find after we leave Evermist Island. I want to see the sleeper. What's that? We did it. Thanks for all the support. 10 out of 10 messages popped up. That's sick. I didn't even do that. You've never heard of the sleeper? Stories say it's a giant serpent and it's been sleeping curled up around a mountain since even before there were traveling historians to record it. No way. Sure is. And it's super dangerous too. But don't worry. It can't wake up. Why not? Apparently, there's holes in the mountain and the wind blows through them, and that plays a melody that keeps it asleep. Whoa. I want to see it too. It's the bell. Erlina and Brugavis are back. Brugavis, that's going to that's gonna get me a lot, chat. Why is Spooky Sound not working? I tested it before we started the stream. Quick, maybe we can catch them before they go to the academy. What is... Oh, yes. Okay. It's for overriding my old save. Frame story, probably not going to be anything we can pick up that's all special. We'll see, though. God, the animations are smooth. Dude, pixel art's gotten so good recently. Hey there, younglings. Are you still playing in that little cave down below? I gotta learn to try to talk to people twice. Okay. Nothing. I'll test it again later. Yeah, please do. Please do. Smoke bomb's acting up, so I I just put it on pause for the time being. These crops are our main source of food. It's hard work, but I am reminded every day when we all eat it together that the effort is well worth it. Dude, sick, like, centerpieces on those tables. Dang. I hope you're not getting into trouble again. Don't worry about it, innkeeper. How about you keep your in for all the guests? Oh, wait, there aren't any? Burn. Those little legs when they climb, so adorable, right? Hey, wait. 
Oh, we've got some animated cutscenes. I forgot about this. Dude, art style is sick. Brugavis. I will get his name down one day. There you are. Playing in your secret hideout again? You're training. I think I can use magic now. Is that so? Let's see it then. Show off. Whoa. Come closer, Zale. Open your palm and concentrate. What about you, Valir? Have you been training too? Every day? I bet I'm stronger than you now. Ha! <laughs> I'm sure you are. Come here, then. Yeah! <laughs> she just starts attacking him. Whoa, well, easy now. I can't report to the headmaster if you knock me out. That was awesome, Zale. You did it. Solstice Warriors. There's no way I'm going to be able to keep up all these voices, so enjoy the lack of consistency. The music is louder than my voice. Easy fix, though. I think my voice is just quiet. I just don't have the mic as close to my face as I usually do. How's that? Is that better? Gotta hear the beard. Okay, let me know if that's that's better. If you are done with your babysitting, dude. If you are done with your babysitting duties, I would hear your report. Right away, Headmaster. Better? Good. We'll, uh, we'll try to get that a little closer. The little slide to get that out of focus. Okay, there we go. Can we go too? Believe me, once you enter Zenith Academy, you'll wish you hadn't. Let's go, Brugavis. I don't really got a good girly voice. I could go like falsetto, but it just sounds. Let's go, Brugavis. Like, and there's only one. That's the that's the only one I got. We we can start doing it. All right. Well, you'll have to choose which character it is, though, because, again, I got one. Want to go to the Forbidden Cavern again? We tried already. It, I can't open it. Yeah, but last time we decided maybe the full moon could make the room more sensitive. I'm sure it'll work. Moraine will be so impressed, he'll take you two in for training right away, and then we'll finally be allowed to leave this island. What if he gets mad and delays our training instead? Nah, no way. Well, we can worry about it after I open it. I mean, if I open it. All right, let's go. You can do mean American girl accent. For, oh, I can do a Capali girl voice. That is true. That is true. <laughs> All right. You asked for it. Look at that floating structure above the city. That's cool. Dude, I love overland travel scenes too. This is like one of my favorite things about RPGs back in the day. Final Fantasy, looking at you. Love it. Like, oh my god, Becky. This magic potion is totes, not vegan. Ryan unintentionally was doing a granny voice for one of his old lady characters. That's awesome. No, we don't need to save it. We're gaming right now. We made it. Time to stop for a snack. Dude is prepared. What? I'm not hungry. 
Yeah, we just left a few minutes ago. Look, it's not a real adventure if you don't eat a snack on the road. Garl's, he's fucking got it. Garl's got it, y'all. Pay attention to Garl. Plus, I made something special for the occasion. Here. What? Yeah, dude. Join the sandwich club. Wow. That's really good. Yeah, no kidding. Glad you like it. It's the jam. I used a bit of sap from the celestial willow. You could get in trouble for that. Only if you tell. Ha! Look it up! Maybe like Erlina showed me? Try opening your palm and concentrate. You got this, Valir. God, I feel like the name Valir is like a character from something else. I think it's one of the Dimension 20 shows. Pretty sure it's one of the Dimension 20 shows. I knew it! It worked? You're not going to say something in all caps too, Valir? Come on. I did it. I finally did it! So, what now? The ladder move makes for a good dance, too, we have discovered. It has the same animation, and it's awesome. The headmaster must have heard the bell ring. Do we just wait for him to show up? Might as well enter. It can't be our first adventure. It can be our first adventure. Yeah. And then the, master, and then the headmaster will know we're not afraid. This is exciting. Let's go. Cave tunes. Oh, there's monsters over there. Let's hide. <laughs> Garl's hiding animation is fantastic. Garl is the third wheel golden retriever friend, 100%. I thought Evermist Island was safe. I guess it's only true for Moon Cradle. We should go back. They look dangerous. Yeah, good call. Row. Watch out, there's another one. This is bad. We're surrounded. Maybe try to use your powers? We're not ready for this. I I don't know, just try. Okay, let me focus. Watch out, it's preparing something. Come on, come on. Blear, watch out! Oh, I shot. Ah! Girl, no! My eyes. It really hurts. I can't see. <laughs> Jeez, the covering his eye. That's brutal. There's no escape. It's about to attack again. So it was you. Sourceful as you are, reckless, I see. Headmaster, girl needs help. It feels better. Like anyone born in Moon Cradle, a regular kid, what Garl needs is to not concern himself with the affairs of the Solstice Warriors. I'm really sorry, Headmaster. It was all my idea. Hey! Be thankful that the only cost of this lesson was an eye, young lad. Holy oh, Jesus. As, as for the two of you, if you are so eager to receive training, I shall oblige. Follow me. The story of Garl's Eye. Make sure to treat the wound and soothe the poor kid. He's not the complaining type, but if the pain seems to return, please send for me. Understood, Headmaster. 
You will not see your friend for a very long time. If you have any parting words, speak them now. I... Can't he come and stay with us? How long is very long? Like, a week? Ah, the eagerness of youth. It takes years to properly train Solstice Warriors. Years? No way. But... Your friends have much to learn. I would suggest you use that time to reflect upon what happened today. With any luck, it will help you forget any ideas of getting involved with a burden that is not yours to bear. Dang, y'all. Guys, don't forget about me. Never. We'll train really hard. Maybe it won't take so long. I just thought of another female voice. Uh, so the first follower that you get in um, come on brain I'm gonna think of this word and the name of the game if it fucking melts my brain right now. Okay. Morrowind, Oblivion, most recent Elder Scrolls game. Wow. Do I have early onset Alzheimer's? Is this happening to me right now? Did I just did I just get dementia? Skyrim, thank you. My brain. Oh no. <laughs> no, this is bad. In this ancient place of knowledge, you will learn everything you need to know in order to become true solstice warriors. We've been waiting for this for so long. When do we start? Tomorrow, though I believe a proper introduction is in order. <clears throat> Careful now. No, soon you'll forget us too. <laughs> no, I'll never forget. That's what everybody who says it has. Both my grandparents had it. Grandmas. It's not good. This is too real, chat. It's too real. Oh. Wow. Okay. Can you imagine? This is gorgeous. Welcome to the classroom in the sky. Whoa, it's beautiful. It is. I'm feeling a weird resonance like when I opened the Forbidden Cave. Good on you for noticing that. Getting closer to the stars helps new recruits get acquainted with their innate magic. It shows great promise that you were able to feel it before, and Zael too from what Erlina told me. Oh, it was just a small burst. Okay, Beard on Fire bot, chill the F out. Dang, man. They have no idea how much potential they have. It is probably for the best. Now in the many years you will spend at Zenith Academy, you will learn about the duties incumbent upon Solstice Warriors, of the magic you are destined to wield and the evils it is meant to cleanse. You'll learn how to fight too, right? Naturally. You will spend your days training and studying, but most importantly, sewing. Sewing? That sounds boring. Well, I can assure you that it is. A mandatory task nonetheless. All who would join our order begin by weaving their will into an enchanted piece of fabric, the staple of the Solstice Warrior. It is their most prized possession, guaranteeing light in the darkest places and a measure of protection against the minions of the Fleshmancer. But first, you must learn of your duties, train until you cannot feel your limbs, and then train some more. Once both your body and mind are ripe with potential, you will create a magic piece of fabric worthy of the very stars. You will then be sent out beyond the Forbidden Cavern to meet with the Elder Mist, 
for it alone may officially grant the title of Solstice Warrior. Zoe, I understand it is not what you were hoping for, but it is what is required of you for the time being. Years of sewing. That will be all for today. You'll be spending a lot of time in these halls, so you should make yourselves at home. To your left is the training room. You are to go here first thing in the morning. Just above is the way to my chambers. It is off limits, of course. And to your right are the dormitories. Just make sure you pick a bed aligned with your innate magic. Feel free to look around, and then go to sleep when you are ready. Good night. Alright, let's check out the training grounds. Dude, I would love to live in a floating city. Oh, there you are. Ryan finally decided that you were ready. Oh. Oh. A rope ladder just made for training. Getting a head start. Are they dancing up the ladder or are they climbing the ladder? We'll never know because it's the same animation. I remember where Lena and Brugravis were your age. They wouldn't stop running. Yeah, I feel old now. His tiny legs. <laughs> All right, so we're in the chambers. Sewing basics. <laughs> Already like, oh, not looking forward to this. All right, we'll do a little savey save. to sleep? Yes. The next morning in the training room. Good morning, fellas. Rugavis. So you'll be our trainer? I wish. Lena and I are leaving tomorrow, but the headmaster was kind enough to let us make your first day special. Are you ready for training? You bet. That's what I like to hear. I reckon these should be well suited for the two of you. Zale received a training sword. Lea received a training staff. All right, let's get to work. Why is Brugavis kind of... Sexy? Is sexy the word you're looking for? Because I agree. Look at that. That beautiful beard. Never! Wow. It just reminds me of, like, when I work out really hard, I tend to throw up. I could do this. Probably why I tend not to do that. Troll Hunter, you, I got you. I got you. We're... We're aligned right here. We're aligned. Pale <laughs> Look at Brugavis's pale reaches. 99, 100. That's it for today. You did... Oh, wait. That was it for today. You did great. Whew. That was a lot. Feel free to take a break. Erlina will see you on the terrace whenever you're ready. All right, so PT done for the day. First thing in the morning. Probably how you should do it. Harris. This way? Question mark. Oh, there you are. Ready to learn magic? It should feel as if something was scratching an itch far away from you. You must focus on the sensation and compel it to come closer. I think it's working! 
Hey, you startled me. I almost had it. Now mine's gone too. It's okay. Just breathe slowly. Try to release only when you feel its current passing in front of you. If your timing is true, it will manifest on three. One, two, three. I think I felt it. It tickles. Right there. You just did the hardest part. I'm sure your training will go well. And one more thing. No matter what the headmaster teaches you, remember that this is your life and... Alina! Hmm. Since you are done onboarding our new recruits in the ways of magic, I would provide the briefing for your next assignment. <laughs> As for the two of you, it's about time you tried that sewing kit. Move along now. Boy, the sewing task is really looming on the horizon, you could say. And making a magic piece of fabric worthy of the very stars sure is a tall order. Yeah, I have no idea what shape to even make. Got any games you're going to pick up? Spring... S oh, Steam Spring Sales going on right now? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I'll have to look at my wish list. At least the headmaster said we wouldn't get it right the first time. Well, now I'm bored. Yeah, I was just cruising through my wish list the other day. I did have some games pop up that were like, oh yeah, I should I should totally try that. I don't know there was a couple like smaller ones. Oh, I want to try that uh I made a I made a game about climbing game. It's kind of like only up, but with climbing. And I have done my share of climbing IRL over the course of my life. Uh, I'm just going to try to leave. I do appreciate how, like, in this game, you just run. Like, there's no walking. You don't have to hold shift. Like, they know that you're going to sprint literally everywhere. You keep saying that, but the Fleshmancer left our realm for good when the Dweller of Strife was destroyed. So why can't they have a normal life? And you know the three of us can take the one on Wraith Island. We don't need them. Prudence, Erlina. There is no telling what threats we may face in the future. Valir and Zale were brought to Moon Cradle by the Great Eagle. It is not the place of the headmaster to question such things, and neither is it yours. So how much is enough? What about Mar Moyara? What about the twins? Brugavis, do not judge a sacrifice you cannot begin to comprehend. This conversation is over. They will study here while you carry on with your investigation. On the first eclipse after their training is complete, they will join us for the cleansing. Learn as much as you can until then. But... Let's just go, Brugavis. Welcome to the chat room. Looks like I disconnected for a moment. I hope I didn't miss anything. Dot, dot, dot. And so they trained and they sewed for days and then for months. And Zale never worked on his push-up form the entire time. Faster now! Focus and then release. And the longer a dweller is left to its devices, the stronger it gets. This makes patrol duty essential. 
Let one grow for too long and you have a world eater on your hands. Against such a foe, even a legion of solstice warriors would be helpless. Since delaying only increases the chances of a world eater, cleansings always target the strongest dweller known to us. Headmaster, if dwellers are immune to our magic, how can we fight them? Ah, that is why cleansings are always performed during a total eclipse. In these moments only, the dwellers' weaknesses are exposed. How many dwellers are left? Just the one, known as the Dweller of Woe, but we cannot know for sure. The Fleshmancer just may have planted other seeds of evil before leaving our world. Thus, we must always remain vigilant. Headmaster? Yes, Valir? What happened with the Dweller of... <laughs> what happened with the Dweller of Strife? And who's Moyara? Busted. That will be all for today. I'm out of green tea. It makes me sad. Hint, hint, Jazzo, if you're there. I'm out of green tea and I'm sad. Mm. So sad. A few weeks later, a sound in the night. Blair, wake up. Dale, what is it? I think I heard a voice coming from the entrance. What time is it? Who cares? Let's go check it out. All right. I don't know if there are like decisions we should we could be making in the game, like at some point, <clears throat> if we'll have any like game changing decisions to make. So I should probably save a little more often and I should probably like take advantage of uh, having multiple save files. I so rarely do that, though. I just overwrite pretty much every time. Hey, look. Oh, smells good. There's a note. From Garl! Dear Valir and Zale, if you're reading this, it probably means I got caught. I'm writing this as a failsafe, but I hope to see you in person. I made cookies filled with the celestial willow jam that you like. Aw. Keep reading. I'm doing everything I can to be ready to leave when you graduate. In the meantime, I hope your training is going well. Oops, now the platform is almost up and I can see Moraine is there waiting for me. He looks very angry. This dude writes fast. <clears throat> we'll try to drop the jar, jar without him noticing. I guess that means I won't be able to try a visit again, but I'm thinking of you every day and I can't wait. I hope you like the cookies. Your friend until the end of time. Garl. Garl is the best. Let's go up on the disc to eat the cookies. Got cookie jar. These cookies are amazing. I can't believe Garl was just there. I miss him so much. He seems well, at least, after what happened in the Forbidden Cavern. Knowing him, I bet he smiled it all... smiled it away the next day. Ha! <laughs> You're probably right. We can't let something like this happen ever again. At this rate, it feels like we'll never sow something good enough for the Elder Mist. It will happen, we just have to keep on training hard. Garl's real homie. No lie. Gar like, this is... Garl's the main character. For sure. He's the protagonist in the story. And so they trained and they sewed for years. And then they trained and they sewed some more. One-arm push-ups. Okay. I lied. He did work on his push-up form. <laughs> Zale, that's the one. I can feel it too. Hold on. 
All right, I think I got it too. Let's go see the headmaster. Nice, look at them wearing their woven cloths. Uh, their fangs. Their what have yous. Headmaster, we think we're ready. <clears throat> Why, yes. The tingling of magic in the air has been building up for a few weeks now. Congratulations. Moving forward, there will be no more sewing. I can deal with that. Soon be time for you to leave on your journey to meet the Elder Mist. But before we get to that, Zenith Academy has one more challenge for you. Oh, our visitors just arrived. Perfect timing. My, you've both grown pretty strong. Hey, it's good to see you. Alina and Brugavis are here to help you review the basics of combat. Check in with them. Then it will be time for your final test. Ready to go through the basics of magic? Yes. Make magic, y'all. Fucking Harry Potter up in here. When the enemies prepare spells, you must do everything you can to prevent them. If you follow your senses, you can try dealing damage of the types that will break their concentration. Simpler spells will only demand normal attacks. Valir can do blunt damage and Zale has slicing. Let's see you break this one. Uh, uh. Okay, so we see two blades and two blunts, so I'm guessing we do blade. Okay. Just like that. Now, some spells will also demand magic damage to break. You can control your projectiles now, so let's give it a shot. Zale for sun and Valir for moon. Sunball. Oh, Zale's got healing magic. All right. Hold X for power. Ah, okay, so there's like a three second deal. Okay, deflect. We've done this one. Well done. Now you can sense your magic point is a bit low, right? To keep up the pace in battle, you must remember to regenerate magic points. Let's build it back up a bit. Hit me with a normal attack now. Yeah. Did you feel that? You just got some MP back by attacking. In battle, awareness leads to victory. You must paste your spells with normal attacks to avoid ending up in a dire situation with no MP available to get out of it. And on the flip side, you should not hesitate to use spells when MP abounds, for a regular attack on a full bar is a waste of regeneration. The key is to experiment. Keep on varying your actions and find the rhythm appropriate for each battle. One last thing. All battle actions, lock breaking especially, build your combo energy. When you have enough, you can spend combo points to perform powerful actions. Okay, so we got that on the left-hand side. I can see that. Combos cost no MP and are lost after battles, so you should never hesitate to use them. Moraine told me you came up with your first combo attack. Show it to me. 
combo. So we've got combo level one. Solstice strike. <laughs> yeah, you're strong, all right. Keep an eye out in your adventures. You're bound to come across scrolls that will teach you more combo combos. Combos. <laughs> Good luck with the exam. I'm sure I hit the button too fast to read that last bit. My apologies. <laughs> Want to review combat basics? Yeah. Let's get started. Just attack me now in any order. Use left and right to cycle through available characters. Party members can use their turn in the order of your choice, but they can only act once per round. When all of your party members are on cooldown, the round resets and they all become available again. All right, we can do that. Good. Just gonna leave that open. Water stays open, y'all. I should make a hydrate point reward just so that I can remember to drink water. <laughs> that would be smart. Focus is paramount whenever you perform attacks and skills. With proper timing, you can increase the damage that you deal and sometimes even score additional hits. Let's see it. Press X as the hit connects to increase damage. See, I love these little mini games. These mini games are like... They wait, they, they just like totally increase the engagement in the game, in my opinion. Okay, didn't hit that. That was too soon. Yep. And it's good that they're making you like they really spell it out. So somebody who hasn't like played a lot of games before could pick this up and they could like look at it pretty fast. You know, as long as their controller has freaking icons on it. Lifelong gamer. I don't need fucking icons. I just have blank white buttons. Ooh, good. Let's see that one more time. So they're, they're making sure that I actually get it. That's good. Ouch, yeah, that's the gist of it. Most of your attacks and spells can be made more potent with proper timing. Some also keep going with more hits until you miss. And remember to think of timed hits as a welcome addition when you pull it off, rather than something you're supposed to do perfectly all the time. So no stress. Don't stress, chat. No stress today. So don't worry about it too much. Just keep on trying and your sense for it will develop over time. Okay, now for timing your blocks. Let's get the little guy in here. To be efficient in battle, you must pay attention to anything that starts moving. With proper timing, you can reduce the damage of any incoming attack or spell by blocking. Get ready. Press X as the hit connects to reduce damage. Ooh, yeah, that was way too fast. That was too soon. Stay focused and press as the hit connects. That was too late. Stay focused and press as the hit connects. There we go. Good. Let's see that one more time. So there's like a little window. After you press X, you can get it. get in that little window. Man. Did that work? Now I get why this game won multiple game awards, right? Like just the gameplay, just that in itself, adding that to the JRPG is huge. Remember to always stay alert. Some patterns will be harder to read than others, sometimes even requiring multiple blocks. But don't be too hard on yourself. No one is expected to block everything all the time. It's not about getting it perfectly all the time, but rather building a growing sense for it. Just think of a time block as a welcome bonus whenever you happen to pull it off. The key is remembering to read your enemies and to keep trying. Now, one more thing. When a party member gets knocked out in battle, you'll need to switch to a more defensive mode. A 
Okay, can we get that guy on our team? Because he just up and did 999 damage. Like, third party member is Turtle Guy. KO'd allies will get back up on their own at 50% HP once all the KO stars are gone. Okay, nice. One KO star is removed at the end of each round. That's nice. That What a welcome mechanic. The more you fall during the same battle, the more KO stars there are, so be careful. If all party members go down, it's game over. All right, looks like we got a uh, ad break right now. Hopefully y'all aren't getting it too bad. Fight and survive until Zale returns. Blocked. I keep forgetting about the uh, the bonus to the attack too. Oof. And there you have it. Good work today. I'm sure the exam will be a breeze. Rain will see you to the final test. I'm sure you'll do great. Are you ready for the final test then? We're ready. Then let us begin. The big day is finally come. Over the years, Zenith Academy has tested you in many ways. It will now test you one last time. Have you prepared your vows? Yes, Headmaster. Then speak them now. You go first, Zale. Hmm, okay. So that I may use my agility to cleanse this world and protect my companions, I will enter the world as a blade dancer. I chose the curved blade as it will not hinder my speed or reflexes. Welcome, blade dancer. Come on, Valir. I did it. Now it's your turn. So that I may use my strength to inspire hope and eradicate evil, I will become a battle monk. I chose the staff, for it won't break no matter how hard I strike. Welcome, battle monk. Dude, that's sick. I love battle monk. Battle monk is just like beautiful, beautiful class. Today you must demonstrate mastery of everything Zenith Academy has taught you. Your final challenge awaits below. Please step aside. I thought we were as high as we go. That thing goes higher. Oh, before I forget, here's a little something to keep your health full. Obtain three tomato clubs. Now, with faith in your abilities and purpose in your actions, take the leap and return as the new recruits of our order. I'm ready, Valir. Let's just go for it. What? Oh. Okay, so we've got a door up north. Blocked. We're going to have to go around. Still got that dance climb. The item's cookie jar? Hmm. Found one ornate stove. Ooh, it's fighting time. These guys have like a pattern. I wonder if I could avoid fighting them if I wanted to. Looks like I could. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and crescent arc attack. Wow, I messed up that timing so bad. That too. for power. 
cool. That like it's like the fourth uh, step in the fireball. That's the big one. It's the big bada boom. Oh, I wish I had the Lilu. Fifth element on my soundboard. That's what I'm trying to get at. Read my mind, chat. Listen to the words I'm trying to say, not the words I actually say. <laughs> and look at all these different sprite animations, too. Like, it's badass. This game is sick as hell. Found another ornate stone. Oh, yeah, we're fighting. Uh, no skills? Oh, no magic. Okay. I, like, forgot all timing. Uh, yeah, let's... Okay, so I should have chosen to have Zail attack first last time. Boom, there's a combo. Okay, we've got enough for Crescent Arc here. Learning the timing of these moves. There's a block. They are fucking Zale up. Items. Let's, yeah, let's Tomato Club, dude. We're getting it. We're getting the timing down for the, uh, like the special blocks. Enhanced blocks. fight up here. Ooh, maybe they are. They haven't even been to the other side of the Forbidden Cavern yet. How could they understand? So you don't think we should try to at least explain? You've seen how strong they are. Weird will be a walk in the park. Now let's see them off then. Chonker guy, let's go. Exam mode engaged. Brace yourselves. And then I pulled out my mushroom tip. Okay, he doesn't have any spells. So we're gonna moonerang this guy. Holy balls, that was horrible. Vulnerable. Okay, so he. Oh wow, I just hit X a thousand times the wrong time. Shuffle weakness, sun. Oh! <gasps> That's cool. Good to know. Okay, I forget that I can switch between which character goes. Shuffle weakness, move. Okay. Thought I could shuffle between who goes. With left and right. I guess not. Okay, let's see how much I actually heal when I do healing light. I wonder if I can crit on a heal. Okay, so we're weak on moon. Getting the bonuses down. Weakness is physical. That that bodes well for me. Oh, 
We got a combo. Okay, I'm gonna wait till to use the combo until he's uh, vulnerable to physical damage. Okay, we're. Okay, we'll cast a little healing light on Blear. Okay, so we've got. Oh, nice. So if we land the bonus, it actually takes care of two of the blunt notches because it's a technically two attacks. That's good to know. Well, I'm glad that worked. Got 40 XP. Oh, hell yeah! At level up, we get to pick bonus stats? Alright. Oh, I'm going... The mana points seem useful, but we're gonna go with health. We'll go survivability right at the beginning. Get health jacked up. Mana, physical defense, two magic attack. I wonder if these are random for each level. Yeah, let's uh, let's keep it going with survivability at first. Congratulations, you have been trained well. Return now to your headmaster. Every time, every time, this door right there. <laughs> it's a closet door. It's not even a normal door. gets me. Alright. Congratulations, you have been trained well. I said this before. Return now to your headmaster. Jesus, that caught me off guard. I was so hooked in the game. Yep. Congratulations, Valir and Zael. You have learned everything Zenith Academy had to teach you. did it. Record time, too. You must now learn of our ultimate power, the ability to use magic without using magic. Huh? But that knowledge is for the Elder Mist to impart. Come, the villagers have gathered to celebrate your departure. We've rounded them up like cattle. It is on special days such as this one that the citizens of Moon Cradle are reminded of the importance of their duties. Where's Garl? Sam. Many years ago, Valir and Zael were delivered to us by the Great Eagle. Deliveries on two solstices in a row to boot. A very rare occurrence. Oh, I remember. Gran was so happy to get to meet two more before she passed. Oh, sad. I miss Gran. I do too. I miss being able to do my old lady voice. All of you have come together to nurture and protect them, just like our ancestors have done for so many children of the solstice before. Hot noops, what up? Welcome. Glad you're here. Valir and Zale. Step forward so that the good people of Moon Cradle might gaze upon those who will soon join the ranks of the Solstice Warriors. This parading is ridiculous. No, oh, let the villagers have their fun. That's all they get. So you're okay with this now? You know I'm not. As I, as I called it, right? They're just gathering uh, the people up like cattle like hey you you, <laughs> you have to show up here because we're the warriors and uh you're not so what are you gonna not do the thing we tell you to do now cheer with me as we send these young heroes out across the forbidden cavern to meet the elder mist hooray 
to the gate. What do we do? I want to see Garl before leaving. I guess we have to play along. <clears throat> I guess we have to play along for now. Fingers crossed that we can come back after meeting the Elder Mist. Fingers and toes. Valir, Zale, you must undertake this journey on your own now. We will not fail, Headmaster. Go now, through the Forbidden Cavern and atop the mountain trail to seek the audience with the Elder Mist. Learn how to use magic without using magic, and you shall then enter the world as true solstice warriors. May Luana's might protect you. May Solon's light guide you. Here, yeah, this should keep you fed for a little bit. Obtain three tomato clubs. And if your adventure feels a little tough, you can take a look at these. Got an amulet of storytelling. You're back, all right. Got sequent flare. You just received your first two relics. Find them in the relics section of the game menu to adjust your experience. Whether you prefer a lighter challenge or are looking to push yourself to the max, relics offer a range of options. There's bound to be more to find. Oh, interesting. So we have like modifiers we can add to the game with these relics. That's sick. Remember to keep an eye out for merchants. Selling any valuables you find will keep you well fed and well equipped. Now, wherever your adventures take you, you must remember your first assignment. After the Elder Mist sends you out in the into the world, you must secure passage to Wraith Island in time for the next eclipse. And do keep on trading, for a dire cleansing awaits us. Still can't believe he wants them fighting a dweller already. That's Moraine for you. We weren't much older the first time. Yeah, but we'll find a way. Safe journeys, and may you cleanse this world. May you cleanse this world! Love it. We're back! Yeah. Saving seems like a good idea. And no problem this time. <laughs> sure feels easier now. This time we make it through. We got like a little mining cart track situation or something. Chest up there. One way to go. We got like a pushable pillar? No. Okay. Chat, what do you bet that we end up with a pushable pillar situation? I bet we do. Okay, so we've got that guy is defending with the head wave. Come and get me. Uh, let's freaking crescent arc. Yeah, those two. Messed up the timing. Yeah. All right, we're gonna do physical attacks on that dude. Better get the bonus. There we go. Okay, you got two blunts. Black. Thirty-six, thirty-six XP and some gold. Okay, nice. Another one of these. I can't push it. I'm telling you though, pushable pillar. It's coming. 
We'll push a pillar into place, then we'll have to do a jump thing to get on top of it. Guaranteed. Metroidvania. Ooh, okay. 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 This is a cool one. Uh, yeah, let's ride it all the way to the bottom and just see what happens. Adventurer's vest. Equip. Uh, we'll give that to Zale because he's going hard in the defense. Got spike shower. Oh, okay, I think we got a little block in there. Boom! I don't think we can use healing light outside of combat, so let's knock out a healing light. They actually drop on the ground. We can pick them up like manually. That's awesome. Okay, so we can use items outside of combat. Let's we'll do a little heal. Does it say how many? Plus 20 HP. Okay. I didn't see if... Uh the sprite changed at all when we put on the new vest for sale? Probably not. No. Okay. Okay, so we probably hit this after jumping down on that. What is this? It's locked. Maybe the key is in the chest up there. It's just out of reach for now. Let's look around. Somebody's getting the valley girl voice. I promise. Oh, okay. Change the entire environment to grab this chest. That's sick. Found one forbidden cavern key. Okay, nice. And then we can just hit the uh, switch. No fall damage. That's awesome. What is that? That's some old ass mushroom soup that you just found in that box. I question myself if I eat that, and I will. Valir and Zale learned combo skill Mending Light. Found a shiny pearl. Alright, so that was one of the valuables that uh, Moran was saying we could sell in town. I was about to say, we should go back to that main cavern. Oh, look, we've got some uh, animations that happen if you stand still. Valir stops. Zale gets some stretches in. I wonder if we have multiple. Hmm. 
We're looking at animations. I'm not just like zoning out. We're looking at animations. All right, looks like they got the same ones. They happen to kind of look like random times too. That's cool. All right, chest first because we're gamers. Found one leeching thorn. Okay. A leeching thorn. Okay. Normal attacks heal for 15% of damage done. Okay, you've got a bunch of defense buffs. We're going to give this to Valir. There we go. Oh, nice. We can just switch back between, back and forth between the two. two. So we have two silver ring spots and one gold ring spot. Items. Where's our oh, relics? Here we go. Amulet of Storytelling. Max HP plus 100% and auto heal after combat. Sequent Flare. Successfully timing hits and blocks causes a star flare to fly out of the character for a clear as day confirmation that the input was properly timed. Recommended for those preferring stronger feedback or while closing in on the mastery of certain moves. Tactician's Metal. Enemies have 60% resistance, uh, damage resistance while casting. Increases player damage taken by 35%. Items cannot be used in combat. Campfires recover HP up to 50% and don't recover MP. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Going down. Bing. Like we summoned all the baddies. Hey, guys. Oh. We're surrounded, so... Crescent Arc isn't really going to do much of anything. But I'm thinking we can still uh, Moonerang. Uh oh If we knock... If we hit the Blunt and the uh, other attack, that means these guys are passing. They're going to do a big spell attack after they reach the end. Okay. But we can at least stop one of them from casting. Sick. Let's do it. Nice. Okay, we got sail. Missed that. Missed that. I came into this, I'm not going to lie, super confident that I would hit all of the time attacks. It's like, I'm going to be 100%. No fucking problem. Maybe not. Device is broken. We can't activate the bridge. There seems to be a detour through there to the left. Worth a shot. Shimmy, shimmy. Oh, campfire. Let us rest. L1, set up camp. What is that? Oh, sick! Oh, so we can talk to our, all our companions during these, uh, these camp scenes and get some, like, lore and storytelling. That's fucking awesome. Shame we didn't get to see Garl before leaving. The Elder Mist, huh? Just need to find this mountain, I suppose. We're to reach Wraith Island for the eclipse. <laughs> I definitely read that as a recipe. I guess we'll need a boat or something. Yep. Campfire feels cozy and warm. Cool. Nice, so we should set up camp before we do those in the future do the do the resting 
I am very ill-equipped for Thursday right now. I'm wearing a t-shirt and shorts and no socks. So before I do the tickle fight for Thursday, I've got to suit up. We're talking like maybe a sweater, maybe two thick socks. That's the way to do it. You got to prepare for these things. If you start the attack and it turns around on you, it's always so, so disappointing. All right, I'm thinking giant crab. Money's on giant crab. Valir. Sounds big. Get ready. Ah, giant worm. Would have lost the bet. Vulnerable to moon magic right there. That's awesome. Hit up a sunball too. Ooh, that felt nice. That didn't. Okay, it looks like you don't get bonus. Oh, got that. You don't get bonus magic point return. What is the downward pointing arrow? I think I did get a bonus. I think I timed that one right. I'm not sure. 100%. Oh, shit. Well, this guy's casting a spell, and I have no way to deal with that. Acid bug bombs. Boss bug. I just feel like we had to get rid of those. We got a combo. Hell yeah. Dual attack each regenerates three MP. Nice. Okay. Okay, we are getting rid of that spell. No, thank you. Hmm. Got another combo? Hell yeah. like we're healing. Did not time that one. Mm -mm. Back it is. The boss is really focusing on Valir.
sick of getting kind of tired, giant cave worm. Okay, we're gonna have to. Oh, oh shit. We're gonna have to attack through that, is what we gotta do. need MP, but we also both need health in a bad way. All right, so, wait, soup goes for both? Hell yes. bugs are going to hit hard. I've not figured out the timing for that attack yet at all. All right, let's heal in light. Good to have a healer in the party. First big one! Ha <laughs> ha, we did it! Looks like there's a way out over there. The mountain shouldn't be much further now. Ooh, give us that loot. 60 gold. And another adventurer's vest. Yep, we're taking that. Anything else? Any hidden treasure chests? Really nice light illuminating the bath. Very well lit. Any secrets down here that I could potentially be missing? Oh, nice. That just takes us right back to the entrance, yeah? Yeah. Is there anything else I needed to grab in here? doesn't look like anything. Back in the old Final Fantasy games, like, like two and three US, five and six Japan, you were really like, rewarded for checking out every single little nook and cranny because sometimes you'd find like secret hallways secret passages to get really good loot four okay so we've got numbered enemies here things are starting to move but i am eager to see what these two can do eager and impatient too but now we wait three you know what to do Three, the one who didn't speak. Okay, so we've got some kind of giant koi. That's what I want to check out. Sun Glow Lake. Ooh, Stardew. Stardew vibes from this music. Sun Glow Lake has two types of fish. Looks like we're gonna learn how to do some fishing. 
Hey there! Were you looking for anything in particular? Uh, do you sell fishing rods? Okay, so we got 32 and 36 is 78. 68, wow, math. Um, yeah, I bet we're gonna be able to, we're gonna get our buddy back in the mix, all right? And then he's going to make us like some delicious foods that we can eat during our uh, resting breaks. That's my prediction. Prediction set. Yep, we're going to... Oh. I have such a bad habit in RPGs. Every time I see a new sword or like a new thing that we can get, I buy it right away. And then like 10 minutes later, I find it for free in a dungeon. I'm going to save the money for now because that's not like a huge power increase. We'll just kind of deal with it and use skill. Okay, we don't even need to get a fishing pole. Cast. Oh, I can kind of control this. Holy balls. That was insane. Steer, reel. Uh, I have three stars. What is going on? Do I have a fish? I do have a fish. Uh... I don't understand. Woo! Okay. Like, do I go opposite? I just go opposite the direction that he's going. That's a that's an interesting little mini game. Anybody? No. This is Oh, so close. One little squiddy. That's fun. Just reel it. Just reel it. Power through. Yeah. Caught a man of war. I'll take a couple of fillets. Place. So I'm going to be honest. I caught those two fish and I don't understand why. We'll figure it out later, I guess. Okay, so we have a locked door here. Let's just, let's just check it out. Solstice. A solstice shrine. I found us a solstice shrine. Locked. Why don't you use your powers, Valir? Come on. The mountain trail. Mm. Right, this is where we were. All right, we made it to the mountain trail. So far, so good. So the Elder Mist lives somewhere here, huh? Okay, nice. They're not gonna make us repeat that whole thing over again. I really hope we'll get a chance to return to Moon Cradle after this. What if we're sent out into the world right away? Yeah, I don't know. I just wish Garl's here. Me too. We could use a sandwich. 
<laughs> yeah, we could certainly use some celestial willow jam to go with this awful bread. Ha, the dream. Hmm? Celestial willow jam. Hell yeah, it's Garl. Look at that scar. More like Scarl, am I right? I've got some right here, guys. I haven't picked some mushrooms. You won't believe the soup I'll make. <gasps> oh, and I found some herbs in the Forbidden Cavern. They'll do just right. Garl? What? You didn't really think I was going to let you go on an adventure without me, did you? Garl. <laughs> it's good to see you two again. You look so strong now. Hey, why didn't you show up for our departure? Are you kidding? There was absolutely no announcement. As soon as I heard everyone gather, I went to our hideout to pack my stuff before you left so fast. Guys, I'm just so pumped for this journey. I know all about survival now. Fishing and gathering and cooking and... What's wrong? You can't actually come with us. We just wanted to say goodbye. We're on duty now, and it's pretty dangerous. Hi, Paragon. You want to come say hi? Are you just sniffing my knees, weirdo? <laughs> yeah, good boy. Paragon Cam. What up, buddy? What up, buddy? Being so cute? <gasps> He's just so cute. He just wants to lick nose. All he wants, that's all he wants. <laughs> Uh, um, anywho, he can't, he can't mean that. We've always talked about how we'd all leave together after your training. Plus, I spent all those years practicing in our little cave. I'm ready. Look, I may not have any special powers like you do, but I'm built strong and I've been preparing. Carl's built tough. This here is my shield. I'll be a defensive fighter. No, warrior cook. Oh, yeah? Sure am. And I've been reading a lot, too. See, most of the monsters you're going to face won't even be Fleshmancer minions, which means anyone can fight them. You sure about that? Totally. You haven't even seen any yet, have you? No, but I'll know when to step aside. Don't worry. Plus, you can't really travel the world with just a few sandwiches. What were you thinking? That's, uh, yeah. See, you need me. You just do your Solstice Warrior duties and I'll keep our bellies full. You hell yeah. I'm telling you, main character, Garl. Deal? Okay, deal. I'm so happy. No way, this is awesome. Ah! Start the kettle. We have so much catching up to do. Garl the warrior cook joins the party. Fuck yeah, Garl. Oh, we're excited for Garl, huh? Yeah, don't act so excited, man. And so apparently, after we meet this elder mist, we'll be able to use magic without using magic and be sent out into the world. That's all we've been told. I guess finding our own way is the final step of training. First assignment is to get to Wraith Island in time for the next eclipse. Ooh, that's a lot. Your power sounds so cool, though. I can't wait to see them in action. So how about you, Garl? Oh, it was pretty uneventful, to be honest. All I did was train and learn the skills I thought would come in handy. Every single day, I was hoping to see you come out. I'm sure glad no one told me it would take 10 years. Yeah, we, we missed you too. It's not fair that we were together and you had to do this on your own. Well, we're all together now, so it doesn't matter anymore. And I can't wait to explore the world. I want to taste everything. Hey, this soup is unreal, by the way. Right? Uh-huh. So how much food did you pack? Just enough for a few meals. It's better to travel light, and there's ingredients everywhere if you know how to look. And who knows what we'll find? It's all part of the adventure. Why don't you try to f why don't you try now, Valir? 
See that bush right there? It's full of juicy berries. All you have to do is pick them. But now, now we're just walking around, huh? Just sauntering. It's just a saunter. It's just a saunter, sir. It didn't feel right without girl. Indeed. Perfect. Now we'll make some jam with the berries you picked. Just interact with the campfire and get ready to cook. Campfire seems feels cozy and warm. Cook. Dude, did I call it or did I call it? Berry jam. All right, uses five berries. Okay, bye then. Dude, you should... Little dogs always insist on jumping down from the highest surfaces they possibly can. And their little joints, they can take it at first, but you know, when they get older. I try to give them like little step stools. Not like actual steps. My vet told me that he doesn't like using steps because the pets tend to start using them just to get up from a surface, but they will still jump down. So it's kind of like a moot point. All right, so, oh, cold. Ah, look at that. Berry jam. See, you're natural. We can eat that jam later when we need to heal up. Thanks for the tips, girl. That's going to come in handy for sure. Don't mention it. Yeah, I'm ready for some sleep. Same here. And nothing but the stars above us. I'm loving this life already. Girl, I'm really glad you're here. Hey, girl. Girl. <laughs> I was just about to say that. Me too, guys. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Well, good night then. Sick. Stoked to have Garl in the party. Good morning. You all ready to go? I'm excited to see what this Elder Mist looks like. Should be straight up. Let's keep hiking. All right, let's take a look at Garl. What, what do we got going on here? It's got a cold iron lid. Uh, defense is seven. It's got 55 HP at level two. A level two, okay, so XP is the same for everybody. You see at the top, we're level two. Everybody's gonna level up at the same time. I like that. Um, looks like we've got spot for spots for two more people too. Got my chairs in a little rut. Chairs in a little rut right now. Um, okay. Skills. What's Garl got for skills? He's got hurl. He can vomit. Is Garl hurls an enemy into another position if possible? Oh, six. I can reposition enemies for uh, AOE attacks. And Garl throws a snack at a friend. Medium heal. That is awesome. Okay, not part of any combos. He has no tunic. We should get this dude a tunic. Adventure is best, I mean. Dude, can we shortcut our way down? Maybe we get in some fights on the way. Get some XP. Maybe, maybe. Why am I so insistent on spending money right now? Let's just continue on with the adventure. Maybe we'll find another vest. In fact, I bet we do. Son of a bitch. Spend another day trying to figure out why the heck streamer bot is not working the way it's supposed to maybe it's obs or maybe it's something who who knows who knows all my commands are so basic i would imagine that they would just work fine oh a little sneaky 
sneaky. Alright, we're gonna do a double attack on this dude. Yeah, alright. Sunball. Ba da 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 da. And super responsive controls too. An abacus. Well, that was a. Uh, Gold level item. Displays non boss enemies' HP and combat. Yeah. Hashtag no fall damage. Uh, somebody has defaced a rock with some graffiti. Basic armor. See, I knew I was going to find some armor. Pretty big bump in defense. Um, okay, let's hook that up. Actually, no, wait. I want to hook that up with uh, Zale. There we go. Because Zale already, like, I gave him when he leveled up, he got some bonus. Uh, Bonus defense. Where are we at? Oh, okay, this took us down to the beginning. So I could leave if I wanted to. I could go shop. What is this? It's something I can't interact with is what that is. I could go back and shop, but we're just going to keep going on. I'm hoping that we will pick up some uh, weapon upgrades during the fight. Okay, so these two dudes are doing spells. No way I can cancel that other uh, spell attack. So this is the one. Ooh, even with a block, that was rough. Skills, let's uh, nourish. Nourish yourself. Look at that scar, that's so brutal. Holy balls. He heals for so much, okay. Zale, you're not the healer anymore. That was wild. Not quite. Oof, just ate that one to the face. We'll try to focus down the guy on the left. Shit. Okay, we'll do this combo. Or will we? Yeah, because you don't have enough magic points to do the other thing. Hate that one again. Only three HP left, yep. Worth it. Woof. I should test and see if I can actually heal out of being knocked out. Nope, we've gotta wait for the stars to go away. 
That's the only option. By far the easiest spell to cast. 64 XP and two... Oh, what is that? Ooh, recipes. Roast sandwich. Needs two meat and two wheat. We can do herbed fillets. Two dairies, that's what we got from that. Okay, so th this shows all our items, including the ones that are attached or equipped. Good. Okay, so we came from down there. Also, enemies respawn. Because we visited that area before, so that means we could go back and we could get some more XP, maybe, as long as the respawns happen. How do we get down here? Ah. Nice. Look at that mist effect over the water. More of these like merchant bandits. Did we fall down there? Nope. Get smacked. Oh. I didn't heal. Oh, Berry Jam is for MP. Okay. Your skill does so much more. Okay, so let's Garl. Let's skill. Not enough MP for Nourish. Oh, that makes me sad. Okay. We don't need to worry about hurling. Let's just smash this dude. I'm suffering from a lack of MP. Thunder? Oof. Girl, I'm sorry. There, that's where you get the bonus. Okay. Got another lightning coming? Yep. Almost blocked it. The nourish is killer. So let's nourish Valir. just being able to gain MP back uh, for two characters at the same time is huge. That was a bone? Sure was. The starting point of most dishes involving a sauce. Nice. I wonder how we get more recipes. from this way, why would we want to go back? I guess we could, we could probably come back here for more uh, 
more ingredients too. So if we wanted to farm ingredients for recipes and get them ready. Right now I'm going back to see if the enemies have respawned over here so that we can uh, kind of like grind out a little bit, get some XP. Jam is plus five MP. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about it for now. Nope, they are not here. <laughs> Love girls running animation. Shortcuts all the way. late when cooking to preserve crispiness. Hey, what's up, guy? Hey there, were you looking for anything in particular? training anymore. Oh, Papalotti. Papalotti. Pap Papayoti. Papillot. Papillot. Oh, yeah, we have valuables we can sell too. Sell Shining Pearl. Campfire feels cozy and warm. Let's cook. Okay, nice. The tomato club is a sandwich. Okay, that that makes more sense. Boring but healthy. Sounds like eating healthy food IRL. Am I right? Am I right? Set up camp. Forgot about that. Dude, yeah, let's catch up. Lyra, I'm so glad we're finally all back together. Don't forget to prepare snacks for the road. Looks like we just got repeats from there. It didn't feel right without Garl. The Elder Mist, huh? Just need to find this mountain, I suppose. If we're to reach Wraith Island for the eclipse, I guess we'll need a boat or something. Indeed, guys. Sound effects are awesome. Okay, I didn't know you monsters would team up together. That's something. That was not great. Not my best Moonerang. 
So let's see if we can... What? I didn't know we could hit multiple enemies with the Sun Ball. Hell yeah. Max power! Hit smoked, nerd. And blocked. Let's just go ahead and keep the MP. Yeah, I wonder what the best way to grind for XP is. Or if, like, maybe they just don't like that as a game mechanic. Like, if these guys just tend not to, uh... Respawn. It could be the, like... Let's not make that part of the gameplay because it's boring. Who knows? But it is kind of like a trope, you know? All right, let's nourish Valir. Dude, such good healing. 41 is so much better than, like, 20 we get from this snack. left, so we could finish this if we hit it. Yes. Level up. I wonder if our options are like RNG or if it stays the same. Like, like if it's set for every, every level. Okay, magic defense, physical defense. Your magic attack up. I'm gonna be hitting HP pretty hard right at the beginning, just like whenever I have the opportunity. Could go defense. Having more MP for this dude is gonna be huge. Our healer needs magic. More dairy. Everybody at the dairy allergy is like, don't care for that. Get wrecked! Oh. this so that we can cancel both spells as long as I hit this timing right. I did not. <laughs> okay, maybe we can get this guy. Yes, done. Definitely should have had Set his timer for his attack. I didn't notice. Sunballing. good XP. 72. Ooh, that was uh, some, like, shanks of meat. Meat shanks, if you will. Anything to 
do in the water. go here. Yes, we did. I wonder if the enemies respawn after I sleep. Nice! Slide animation. That's perfect. Okay, we don't need to set up camp again. Let's just go ahead and cook. Oh, I don't have enough grain to make the sandwich. That's too bad. See if we have some mob respawns. notice this treasure chest down here though. The recipe for Shaudry. I am <laughs> showing how much I can pronounce words from other languages. It's not great. As good as the pepper you grind into it. Plus 8 MP. Okay, nice. Anything else down here? down here. Anything hidden over here? No. Okay, it hasn't happened yet, but I think it will, chat. I think it will. Can you hop down here? Yes. Just gotta check for treasure chests, you know? Yeah, we came from down there. Let us... Hey, birdie. Birdie, birdie. All right, girl, look at you. You have been training. I wonder if I can bonus attack when I sneak up on them. Like, you get a little double. I bet you can. I bet you can. It just seems like the game would do that. I want to see if Crescent Arc can do a double hit if I time it right. I haven't timed it right yet. Since we're not going to get it, let's go ahead and just Sunball. So good at that one for a while. Times are gone. Okay. I'm guessing we'll travel through here multiple times. I mean, else why would we continually get, like, open up shortcuts to take us down lower? Look at that. That's a cool animation. Going around the edges. Well done. Can I drop down here? Nope. Uh, oh. hoo, hoo, hoo. Uh, ooh. Do children of the solstice have come for their rite of passage? But I also sense one something, something, something. He hit the wrong button too fast. Is he brave or foolish? 
Ooh, let's find out. The bearded mist. Welcome, young adventurers, to this sacred pond. Nice to meet you, Elder Mist. My name is Garl. My, what a gregarious one you are. Enthusiasm is certainly welcome in this place of meditation, but its rites are not meant for the common folk. Children of the Solstice, step forward. Who? <laughs> it seems you show great potential indeed. Have you weaved your will into celestial fabrics? We have, Elder Mist. Then come closer and let them be imbued by the sacred pond's magic. Twang. Ooh, tremendous resonance. Wear them with purpose, for they will augment your innate magic. You shall henceforth have light in the darkest places and protection against the minions of the Fleshmaster. Mandamenta. I don't feel any different. Yeah, me neither. Ooh, rest assured, the ability to use magic without using magic has taken root in you indeed. What does that even mean? How does it work? It arises from need. In the many battles that await you, victory will often demand the use of more offensive magic than one can sustain through spells alone. That is why attunement to live mana is perfect. Live mana? Who it allows your tax to draw from the magic bestowed upon you at birth. And judging by the resonance you create, this power should even extend to your traveling companions. <gasps> you are ready! Live mana will start manifesting for you the next time you enter battle. Are you ready for your final test? Elder Mist, I'd like to go with them. Elder Mist Trials have never been undertaken by anyone but aspiring Solstice Warriors. But I want to go with them, please. Interesting. You are the first of the common folk to ever make such a request. Garl's the main fucking character, guys. He sure is a peculiar one. No doubt limited when it comes to combat, but the warmth of his heart. Could he bring it? Perhaps we should try to find out. I will allow it. All right, thanks, Elder Mist. Consider it a test of your ability to act as a companion to Solstice Warriors. I won't fail. We are ready. You can close your eyes and take a deep breath. Deeper chat. Deeper. <laughs> Welcome to the Elder Mist Trials. To pass this final test, you must bring three big relics together by completing their associated challenges. Monsters that will try to stop you are immune to physical attacks and the use of offensive spells is prohibited. What? How? Then? Ooh, that's why you must use magic without using magic! Live mana can boost your battle actions with a portion of your magic attack. Embrace this power and your training will be complete. Dude, this is sick. Like, they're saying that we can enhance our standard attacks with mana as well. Like, yet another combat, like, unique thing that we can do. That is very cool. Oh, I have to try that. Trials await. Should you wish to return for a while, simply close your eyes and concentrate next to where you just appeared. Godspeed. The Elder Mist Trials. Okay. Oh, we don't want to leave. Oh. Uh, 
that attack did nothing. Spell would probably do it, but we can't use them here. I guess that's the part where using magic without using magic comes in. But how? Hey, some little orbs appeared when I attacked. Maybe that's live mana? Could be. I feel kind of pulled towards them. Yeah, I feel it too. Let me try something. A boost with R2. Oh. Whoa. Indeed. Work. How's it feel? Like power. So if I attack, it should do magic damage now. Oh, yeah, sure enough. That's the Crescent Moon magic stat. Thank you. That was amazing. I want to try it next. Boosting has been unlocked. Regular attacks will now generate live mana. Hold R2 and press X to absorb a charge and boost. Up to three boosting charges can be stacked, each adding a portion of your character's magic attack stat to their next action to increase its power. Okay. In the case of regular attacks, the character's innate magic damage type, if they have one, is also added on top of their weapon's damage type. Whether you are dealing with an intricate lock pattern need to make your next healing spell really count or just want to deal some more damage, remember to boost. It's one of those things like... It'd be easy to forget some of these mechanics, you know? This live mana thing is unreal. I want to boost all the time. The Elder Mist Trials. After that, we'll officially be Solstice Warriors. If we're to reach the Wraith Island for the Eclipse, I guess we'll need a boat or something. Sorry, North Carolina. I'm not there. I'm not in North Carolina. Spam. If we're to reach Wraith Island for the Eclipse, I... Yep, 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 yep. Let's cook. Okay, we got enough for a shell jay. <laughs> nice. You can make one of each of these. Look at those images that pop up. Looks like the more complicated recipes take longer. And they have different images for each like type of cooking that you would do to make this thing. Dude, that's fucking sick. All right. Cool that we can save like mid uh, campfire rest. It's awesome. It's awesome, guys. Blink, blink. Oh, we haven't seen uh, Homie's uh, standstill animation yet. Did he just find a snack? Is that what happened? Or did he smell his armpit? Wait, what do you think, chat? Was that an armpit sniff or a snack? I'm torn. Garl. I keep forgetting his name. Garl, let's go. Show us, show us your animation again. Snack, he grabs something out of his bag. Zerp. Maybe we can lower that at some point. No push and pull mechanic for those things yet. armor and you cannot wear armor okay 
Okay, so these things just exist innately. Okay, yeah. Woo, that was a that was an attack. Okay, so first we have to attack and then we can absorb a ball. And at the very least, we can get MP back. Okay, he's boosted. Cool, so he can still do damage even though he doesn't have an elemental type attached to it. More cooking ingredients. Okay. Nothing's going to go there eventually. No offensive magic now. Blocked. Okay, so you can absorb multiple. That will do boost. Dude, I'm glad that they have an entire area devoted to doing this boost, though. Because if they didn't, if they didn't do that, it would be really stinking hard to remember to do it. All right, so we get up to this area to our right through one of the other portals. Are these anything? Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Just kidding. We do it like this. Let's get the, let's get the jump on this lantern. YOLO! Oh, okay. Just kidding. This turn. Okay, we're attacking the top guy. Oh, look, the animation changes, so... Valir's health is critical right now, and she... Her animation looks beat up. Good thing we got Garl. With his armpit snack. Boom. Missed that one. These guys drop lots of uh, ingredients. Weirdly, for being little floating lanterns. Oh? Oh? I didn't check out the rest of that platform. What the f? f? Okay. Hmm. Uh, I don't know what that was all about. Group. To get this artifact piece, you will need to answer three questions correctly. Let's see how well you learned. Of these two actions, which one regenerates MP? Attacking. Oh. oh, 
that's it for that one. I guess there's two more. I need to be. Yeah, let's do the next one. See if I can do it without my bladder exploding. I give it 50-50. What is the name of the school you went to? Zenith Academy. We've been paying attention, chat. Have we been paying attention to the story so far? Okay. Y'all are looking lovely today. Just want you to know that. Okay, so dude, we really got to be on the lookout for like alternate paths and platforms that we haven't landed on because the game really throws you a lot of options all the time. There are hidden paths to be discovered for sure and hidden chests. scramble. Three shrooms, two eggs. I haven't found any of those things yet. important solstice warrior duty is to protect or to destroy dwellers who become vulnerable during which natural phenomenon the eclipse that one, that one almost got me that one almost tricked me right there not gonna lie Ooh, okay okay so we're trying to teleport these artifact things here. Moshiroi desu ne. Jump, jump. Yeah. I like money. I like money a lot. Get more of it. Okay, we'll need a platform to appear there. That's awesome. Okay, so if we get the first attack, we do get. Uh, I forget these things are called mana orbs, MP orbs. To a piano. Okay. Okay. I was going to end up using an attack skill, which we can't do anyway. So, no worries. Blocked. Get blocked, nerd. Twice. Five HP with the basic salad. Let's do it. Um, oh, I didn't even try for the bonus right there. It's 
so many berries. We're going to have jam for days and days and days. number three. Okay. My prediction, the boss is going to be... Let me think about this for a second. Bird. We're going to get a bird boss. Maybe even a robot bird boss. Robot bird boss. It has been written. Let's heal up. Fifty HP. We don't need to go with that. Let's do some tomato clubs. All right, and then very jam does plus five MP. Yeah, I want to go into this full MPs for him. Here we go. Robot bird boss. <laughs> Adventurers have finished the preparations. Huh? I see you understand the power of live mana. But can you master it? We shall see. The use of spells is now allowed again. Oh, the boss is literally the things that we saw. Kind of robot, maybe? Did I get a partial win on that? Face me, children of the solstice. Okay, do we... Yeah, we can attack the sword. We can attack... The sword and him, not the fist. No fisting for us today. juked on that, not gonna lie. Juked a little bit. Okay, we got three moves to that. I've really got a hit with more than three of these. Alright, here we go. Let's power Zale up to level 3. Let's just see what a level 3 looks like. Go a little 
in Zale's way. Cause Garl's a fucking bro. feeling better. Not for long. There we go. Finally landed one of those blocks. Healing light on Garl. I have not hit that healing light in a while. In a while. Feeling better again. Again, not for long. Let's see if we can do this. Gotta hit that bonus. We did real good. Formidable. Ooh, a bright young future awaits you indeed. Valir and Zael, I name you Solstice Warriors. I knew it. You're the best. Ah, oh, there it is. We did it. I have consulted the mists of time during your trials. When you are ready to leave this place, find me back at the sacred pond, and I will tell you of your respective prophecies. Then you will be sent out into the world. Ooh. Don't take too long now. Okay. Well, let's have a rest. We'll do a little cooking. We have so many berry jams. I should just bump up the quantity. Yeah, let's do two. Nice. Okay, so if we cook multiple, it only makes us sit through the animation once. That's good. That was a good move. We're going to rest again. We're going to go through the portals to see if we can just uh, do some more fighting and get some more XP. Kind of doubt it. The game just doesn't seem to be set up like that. can't get more fights, I think we got everything we need out of this place. Let's save it. Just in case we crash or something, that would suck. the mountain trail good morning the time has come to begin your journey morning but it's the middle of the night ah uh, yes i suppose your friends should address that address what 
Bring us the dawn. So we can do that. Who all it takes is for you to stand on the celestial rune. And then what? Something inside of you knows already. Right this way. Yeah, let's just teleport follow you. Okay, that worked out. Now concentrate and bring us the dawn. Use R2 and L2 while standing on celestial runes to change the time of day. Okay, so when we change time of day, I'm guessing like certain paths will open for us, certain people may be around that we can talk to, that kind of thing. Okay. How did you do that? That's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Ooh, that part is always easier by simply going for it. Now, in your travels, you will sometimes find mechanisms and seals powered by magical runes that react to the time of day. Looking called it. Right there. They were put into place by solstice warriors who came before you. Some conceal artifacts meant to help future members of the Order such as yourselves, while others seal away evils that were too powerful to confront. Whether or not to look for these artifacts and challenges will be entirely up to you. Yeah, we're looking. Now your journey can begin. Come and meet me beyond this chasm. How do we get across? By using your powers, of course. Meet me on the other side. As a fair and as a farewell gift, I will share with you what I could read in the mists of time. Try using the crystal to charge the smaller rune on the ground above and see what happens. Use the crystal. Okay, so we've got like a little uh, sundial situation going on here. Okay, what? Oh, okay. Dude, this is sick. Come on. Come on. I can see why this won so many awards. Like, it's amazing. Who are you ready to be sent out into the world? Yes. Let us see you off then. But first, your prophecies. I will speak them to your minds directly, for they are yours and yours alone. Zael, step forward. In order, in order to reach your full potential, you will first need to stare at the night inside of you. Thank you, Elder Mist. Valir, approach. When the time comes, you will be the one to create paths on water. Understood. Girl, I get one too? Awesome. You must be mindful of your limitations during this journey. <laughs> Poor fucking Garl. Like, everybody's trying to be like, okay. Hold up. Hold, hold the fuck up. You got it, Elder Mist. Well, this is not a conversation. Oh, my bad. Carry on. The mists are unclear in your case, but appears your heart might be warm enough to soothe a long-tormented soul. Okay, I'll do my best. You have now learned everything I could teach you. I am sending you to Sleeper Island, where you are fated to meet a crew bound for adventure. We have a door that we didn't open on this island, actually. Um... I'd like to take care of that. Make friends with them, and they shall help you reach Wraith Island in time for the next eclipse. To activate this giant, give it the name Zatorl to be sent to Sleeper Island. To return here, simply go to Extol, Extol, 
pay the toll, gotta pay the X toll, toll, the troll X toll toll. And speak this one's name, which is X toll. Cool. Hell yes. Wow, that's like a giant version of the uh, <laughs> of the dudes we were fighting. That was insane. Also. <laughs> Well, I suppose we won't be seeing each other for a while. Oh, back to the great archives, are we? Hmm. And so it was that Valer, Valer, excuse me, and Zale were sent off to begin their journey with their best friend, the warrior cook in tow. In their quest to get to Wraith Island in time for the Eclipse, they would soon come to grips with two very powerful wizards. One by anger beset, the other of life bereft. A lich and a berserker. A wizard. Z Wizards. It's got a lot of bones in there. Honestly, like a pretty huge amount of bones. All things considered, we are still flying through the air. Just bones. It's just a meat pile inside. No way, that was awesome! The Elder Mist wasn't kidding. What a ride. Who knew the world was so big? So, what now? Find a boat, I suppose. To ground level then? There's only one way we can go from here anyway. That's down. Okay, so we're gonna end up going up and down these mountains. A lot. Okay, so we got a pathway to the left, pathway to the right. Let's go left path because it looks secret. Ooh. Found one solstice mage ring. Party members recover one MP when they time a block. Hell yeah. So these, these items count for everybody, and that's fantastic. So it's like global buffs. Found 90 gold. And just to make sure we didn't miss anything the other side. A wheat. Head through! Damn! More wheat? Excuse me. I'm running low on wheat, and I was wondering if you may find a way to help me out. No. No. I get the attack on you. Yeah! Nope, didn't work out. Hmm. Can we just smoke these two with one sunball? I think so. Or not. we had that guy down for sure. Let us. Isn't the soundtrack good? In Rainbow Conch? What? Uh, might interest a collector. Okay. 
Okay. We have... We did find a way up there. We did it, chat. We did it. We already did it. We won it. We did it. Done. Okay, wait. Did we go down here, though? Is that where we came from? Yes. Maters? Taters! What a delight. Uh, this person looks badass. Okay. I think we got like two party slots open. Just saying. I, we got another pond over here? The Moorlands. Do not go into the moors. To New Horizons. Guys, we're gonna call it. We're gonna call it here with uh, Sea of Stars. We made a lot of progress, and the game has been freaking awesome. There's how to play. Interesting. Fishing. Okay, I do want to look up fishing. Okay, to start fishing, press X at the edge of the dock near a fishing lake. Most fishing lakes are uh, directly on the roadmap. Yep. Press X to cast. Casting is always at full power. While airborne, steal the bobber. Yep, we got that part. And X to kick it in the water. If the bobber touches water close to a fish, it's a hook. While hooked, steer the fish with left and right and press and hold X to reel it while it is in the zone. What does that mean? What is the zone? Be careful not to reel outside of the zone. Okay, I guess there's like some kind of visual indicator of the zone. Is it those bubbles? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see that bubble line? There's like a line of bubbles right there. And I think that's the zone. Okay, so that's that's why we weren't catching some of the fish. Okay, interesting. Cool to know. Return to the title screen. Yes. 